And welcome back. Our guests right now are Allie Schmitz and Brian Gibson of the American Cancer Society. And they are both working on a special event where men wear pink campaign. So uh, I guess, Allie, go ahead and tell us what this event is all about. So the, what the Men Wear Pink campaign is about is that we are looking for community leaders uh, to step up in the community and raise funds to help um, support breast cancer awareness and breast cancer research that the American Cancer Society is currently funding and our programs that also support our breast cancer patients. And what this campaign is, is that it's a great networking opportunity for the guys. Um, what we're going to do is bring group, a group of men together from all all over Northwest Ohio. And we're asking them each to raise $2,500 um, in support of this campaign um, through the months of September and October. All right, so Brian, tell us how they're going to go about raising this money. Um, thank you. Uh, what's a really great idea is to reach out to all of your family, your friends, your coworkers, and just ask them to make a simple donation towards your campaign. By far, those are the easiest individuals that are able to support you as well as raise those life-saving breast cancer research dollars. All right, now I know that uh, breast cancer is something that touches so many people's lives. In fact, my wife uh, just one year ago right now uh, was going through it herself. So this is something that is really uh, coming to the forefront. We wanna make sure that people are aware of it. Allie, you got that one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So um, especially in Northwest Ohio, it seems like breast cancer is about the number one cancer diagnosis. It has been for years and years that breast cancer is just so much more prevalent in this area than a lot of other types of cancer. And so we're ACS is currently doing research to, you know, help um, these patients find more cures, get more treatment. So that way, you know, our death rate is continuing to go down. So I think it's so important. Everyone in this area has been affected by cancer in some way. And I would venture to guess that most people in this area have been affected by breast cancer, unfortunately, in some way. And so I'm so sorry to hear about the diagnosis of your wife as well. Well, Brian, this is great that uh, the men are getting on board because, of course, as a husband, I had to be a right-hand person for my wife. And this is another way that men can support women in this diagnosis. It is uh, the one thing that we've always um, so appreciated within the American Cancer Society are our caregivers. The caregivers are the individuals that are right beside any cancer patient that have, was recently diagnosed. Um, they're their champions. They're their, you know, they're their, they're the person that they lean on the most. So to be able to have um, men in our community to support their loved ones in this way is just such a fantastic thing to be able to see firsthand. Allie, how can someone uh, get more information if they're interested in becoming a part of this whole event? Yeah, so if anyone's interested in more information, um, you can contact Brian or myself. And uh, Brian's information is on the screen because I will actually be going out on maternity leave in six weeks. So if anyone else would like to contact me before then, my phone number is 404-327-6000. Six four five one, and our website is also located at the bottom of the screen right now as well. So that has a lot of great information on it, and more information about the overall national campaign, as well as more of our local information as well. All right, thanks guys for joining us this morning. Ali Schmitz and Brian Gibson of the American Cancer Society working on Men Wear Pink campaign, and we'll be back with more right after this.